You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Buzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Real World After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Real World After Show. Hey, how I do it? It's your girl, since they don't play. Cause I do it how I do it. He like the way I do it. You can't do it like I do it. Get the cash and I blew it. What? He like the way I do it. Cause I'm doing it and doing it and doing it well. I'm doing it valley in the A at the 12. Cause I'm doing it and doing it and doing it well. Roll up the cush, mama smoke the L. Finna get Yo, what up, After Buzzers? It's your boy DJ Jesse Janity here in studio for the Real World Explosion. It's go go time. If you're wondering what this song is, it is How I Do It by myself. Since they don't play, shout out to DJ Molly Waters for the track. We are releasing this Friday at 12 a.m. Okay? And it's about to be a hit, so y'all be ready. Boo! You give up without what? Hey, this shit's gonna go though. No, honestly, I can hear people saying I'm excited. It's gonna be good. Wait, so where can they find it? Well, I'm gonna be releasing it on iTunes. So I'll keep you all posted. Just go to my Twitter, my Instagram, since they don't play. And yeah. Holla. So, yes, I am DJ Jesse J. Joined in studio by Nicolette Sensei Gauna. What's up, y'all? <laughs> The lovely Roxy Stryer. Hi, guys. Unfortunately, Dreya Renee is being a whore, and she's not playing with us. Mm. Right now. She resents that, okay? Hola, como estas? <laughs> yeah. All right. What y'all thinking? What y'all thinking Poor of the Brian. episode? Can this episode, it's called, it's go-go time, but I feel like it, it should be called, called Everybody Hates Brian. I mean, like. I felt thing. really bad for him. I Me know, too. I really did. I, I don't think that he's completely in the right the entire time, but I really felt bad. I just I don't think, think he was really trying. Right. Like, he just really was trying to be a part of the group. He was just trying to have fun, and all these people are just so mad. They're just so mad at him. Just, I'm on the Brian train, okay? It's so <laughs> girly. On a board. It, on a board. In my opinion, it's so so girly how all the men are handling Brian like when it reminds me of in high school when I would feel like oh my god they're leaving me out they don't want to play with me like dudes aren't supposed to do that it's supposed to be like a, a bitchy chick thing right. and all the guys are like oh we're gonna rough house and Brian's like guys let me in and they're like no it's oh geez like what yeah like, who, who cares yeah it's just annoying and rude I'm over it the uh, they're doing that frat bro thing Brian's chilling by himself it doesn't feel accepted. Jenny calls her mom. She's scared financially while this is all going on, and she realized she needs to get a job. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's talk about the job. The job is a go-go dancing position, mm. and Brian ain't happy about it. Okay, I just have to say that I, I know that we have differing opinions at this table about this, but I don't think that there's anything wrong with being a go-go so dancer. So you don't think you're a slut if you're a go-go dancer? No, I don't believe you're a slut if you're a go-go dancer. I honestly don't. I think that, that you are... She was pretty clothed for a go-go dancer, and I don't think you're dating Brian, so I don't think he has the right to choose whether you can or can't. That being said... Knowing Brian's history, I am getting more why this is an issue. I don't believe that they're not dating. At the end of the day, no right man is going to be happy. Okay, they're obviously not dating. Well, whatever, wait, first in the explain show. your ex, uh, how you feel about go-go dancing. I mean, I really don't need to explain. I have, <laughs> I feel some type of way about go-go dancers and all types of like, you know, whatever. I just feel like there are plenty of jobs out there, and obviously the girls who are in bottle service, who are in go-go dancing, they obviously are not a relationship type of girl. I don't care what anybody says. They Why? have alter motives. I don't care. You're in the club. You're with all these different guys all the time. Like, I just, I wouldn't want to be, like, I wouldn't 
want my boyfriend to see me doing a job like that. Mm -hmm. That's just not a respectable job. Like, I'm sorry, people are getting drunk. They're going to be touching up on you. They're going to be trying to holler at you. Like, you know, those hoes ain't loyal, okay, when they out there in the club working. I'm sorry. You can I find mean, another job. There's called boutiques. Know. There's called retail. There's because called coffee places. <laughs> there's pay called as well. really cute. There's cute places. Okay, yeah. It's quick money. And legal. It's quick legal money. It's I mean, my thing money, is, is you can just, do it, but I'm cute. sitting up in the corner with a shotgun. A shotgun? Wait, what, who are you pointing it at? Right. Who at whoever wants to come touch my, 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 my man while I'm go-go. Well, he go-go dancing. Well, that's exactly why you don't do that and you don't get in a relationship with someone who's a go-go dancer. I will, a stripper, I will stripper, say... I a bottle service person. Okay, to that or, point, to that <laughs> point, I, go on, go I on. wouldn't date somebody who was a go-go dancer. I will say Boom. that. But I don't have a problem with somebody who is single and go-go dancing. I don't yeah, even have go so, ahead, I don't girl. have a problem with somebody if who's you, in a relationship no you and go-go dancing. I just don't want to be in a relationship with you. All right. Right. Yeah. I mean, obviously people can do what they want. I'm just saying. If you're trying to get respect by a guy, they're not going to respect you. Oh, what you do? Oh, you know, I do bottle service. <laughs> Like, no, bitch. Skirt. Well, we find out from Brian, and this totally makes sense. Skirt. And, and I, I, you know, it kind of makes sense to me now. But, you know, we've heard that Brian has these, this dark past. Right. Uh, and his mom didn't really give him affection or attention. Except um, when she came home drunk. But yeah. we were wondering what she came home drunk now from. Now we know she's a stripper. She was a stripper. She was an exotic dancer, he yeah. really has had not the great past. And I don't think Jenny really accepts it or even tries to Res be understand. Respects, respects it. Respects it. And doesn't even try to understand where he's coming from. Like, she just does not care. I mean, we don't know what's gone on before the cameras you know what I mean well, like I mean, just he could have just done some crazy shit to her right. and that's why she's like boop 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 well, right. that I mean, as you case. can see that's yeah. why she's like boop 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 I don't care because every, well he made up with that made out with that girl then she made out with the guy I mean at the end of the day they were kind of even so yeah. but the quote unquote know, love just... of your life is supposed to be the exception to the rule so even if you would treat all guys one way the love of your life you should be able to treat a different way and based on his past and based on what he's addressed as his concerns, I do think it would be only fair for her to change not who she is, but how she handles herself sometimes. And with dealing with, with him. Dealing with dealing with him. And I, I'm not saying that because I think that Brian's perfect, because I don't think he is, but just in regards to this situation, I think that why then why don't you try to get a job dancing, not dancing at a club or or yeah. like or waitress. bartending. Well, exactly. Or, like there has to be that like you know, okay, what if somebody, this guy starts dating a girl and she goes out all the time? Well, you're not going to be able to go out all the time. Like, right. Once you're, like, together in a relationship, you kind of have to respect that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But it just depends. I don't know. And it seems like they've had this argument many times before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, I mean, just to find out, okay, his mom was a stripper. She didn't, um, he felt judged as a child and feels she doesn't value herself. And all these emotions and feelings starts coming up. And, like, everything that I see Brian tonight kind of, like, being an advocate for, like, I'm not mad at any of it. Like, uh, I, I feel like if, you know, he feels this way about his mom and you're supposed to be his ride or die, his best friend, and I get that you're not in a relationship, we're saying that you're not in a relationship, but she keeps going to him for certain things and asking him certain things, and she keeps trying to have some sort of yeah. conversation with him. Right. I don't believe, I, I just don't buy the whole we're not dating now. It's like, no, you guys are always dating. You just mm -hmm. want to be mad at each other. I know, and I right. do think he has some serious jealousy issues that he has to work out, but when you are traumatized by this, I felt so bad, and I know for a fact that this happens, they, uh, parents take out on their little kids what the actual issues are, so Brian was saying kids didn't want to play with him because of who his mom was because their parents wouldn't let him, which is true. You know, your mom's an alcoholic, so the other moms are careful about it. Your mom doesn't have a job they like, so the other mm -hmm. moms are careful. That actually happens. So I feel bad for Brian. I, I, I don't know whether this is just me having a soft spot for this kind of thing, but I really do. And he needs to be with somebody who does. Yeah. You know, he can't be with somebody who doesn't look at that as a an sensitive ish, yeah. place. Yeah. Right. Well... Um, he, he he's having this hard time. Um, Corey thinks Brian looks stupid when he's sitting there arguing with him. Um, then we get this whole, well, I guess the Thomas part didn't happen yet. But um, as far as Brian moving forward with his emotions and his situation with Jenny, I mean, later we see him making out with another girl. Like, 
is it too much for Brian? Like, we keep seeing Brian approaching Jenny and trying to have these deep conversations. Is it just like, dude, just drop it? Or is it like he's trying? Like, I, I don't know. Like, I mean, most of the time, girls want that from a man. Yeah. They want to sit down and have a conversation. But then it's like actions speak louder than words. Mm -hmm. You ended up making out with a girl. I'm yeah. sorry. Like, if you're really trying to work things out and if you're mm -hmm. really trying, like, you would not rewind and go back and do something that's going to fuck up your relationship again. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, Absolutely. at the end of the like, day, like, you can say as much as you want and, yeah, okay, cool, like, whatever. But if you're going to go do that, obviously, you really don't care that much if you're going to be making out with somebody just because. So, or you care more about making me jealous or more about something you don't actually I'm care so about in a relationship. I'm over that. I feel like I they always do that. But do you like, feel he does it or she does it? Because, both. I mean, both. here we see. I think the entire relationship think, is toxic. I think Jessie. Jenny's yeah. a little bit more aggressive when it comes to that, you know, but I think Brian is just. I feel like Jenny more vindictive right I, yeah. I just think honestly I don't try to place judgment on other people's relationships because I'm not inside them but from the outside it looks You're not inside them. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez. I'm just saying from the outside it looks toxic I bet it does. so I don't want them inside me if that shit's toxic <laughs> Boo! I'll play this game. <laughs> um. Let's talk about speaking about getting up inside the Folsom Street Fair uh, yeah. Um, yeah. I can't wait to take Nicolette wait, there. So can you please talk to me for a second about <laughs> yeah, this? Right. Because I was like, Wholesome Street? And you're like, Folsom no, honey. is the name of a street up in San Francisco. I've never been. I've only heard of this. Uh, but apparently it's fucking crazy. It's like a fetish I mean, street? Yeah, like all types of things and Always situations. Always, though? Or like no, once a I'm year? Pretty, I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure it happens... Quite often. Really? Yeah, like a few times a year, not just once. Interesting. Um, some of the stuff I was like, ooh. Some of the stuff I was like... <clears throat> I mean, it just looked like a really serious gay pride. And no. I mean, the girls hanging upside pride. down tied that up. That was like, not a gay pride. Like, gay pride like is way pride. more colorful, way more high. This one was like, wah, wah, wah. like, this is scary. Like, there's people with, like, masks on. Like, I can't. Okay, this is not Halloween. No, the girl tied up, hanging upside down. That was, the guy was choking her. I was like, what? what? Right. <laughs> oh, see, that to me was like, the hey, hey. Oh, okay, you like to get choked, bitch. Are you kind of a little bit. Are you kinky? Well, I like, do like to get my little. hair pulled. Yeah. Like, Roxy, you got enough of it. But choking, I'm not do trying to Do you not see me wear pigtails okay, ever? Like, Thank you. Like, I uh, know, but they're really, I mean, this is a serious situation. Like, I've been to a club where they do that <laughs> well, kind of stuff. Well, I used to, back in the day, <laughs> be in the club too, and then, no, I'm just kidding. Um, I would do guest lists, and, like, I wasn't young enough to go into the club yet. So, I old mean, enough? I, I wasn't old enough to go <laughs> I wasn't into, young enough to get into that club. <laughs> I wasn't old enough to get into the club yet, so I would just see all these people walking in. But, like, they had, like, these random ass dreads. They were looking like avatars. I mean, they had, like, these crazy shoes, and it was, like, a fetish night. And I'm like... Like, just doing the guest list, like, okay, what's your name? Like, I'm like, okay, well, obviously, I can't ask for your ID because I don't know what. It's not going to look like your picture. <laughs> I don't honey. know what you are. Right. But, like, I would always want to go in and see. So then when I finally turned 21, I was just interested in me. I just wanted to go in and see what it's all is about. Is this in L.A.? Yeah, it's in L.A. It was at Circus, Club Circus. It would be on, like, a random ass night, too. And I would go in there, and people were, like, getting chained up. And I was like, ah. Like, I could not, I couldn't do it. Like, I walked in there, I was just like, okay, see, this is the last time I can't. But I just had to go in because it was just so interesting to me. I mean, I'm but glad that they were open too, to like, it, too. Like, they scary. weren't like, because remember uh, San Diego when they went to the gay, gay pride. pride? They oh, were like, there what was is so this much that? drama. Yeah, and the guys and were it's all. It's gay pride. Like, it's not that serious. Like, no, everybody celebrates it. Idea. It's a lot of fun. This one, I, I'd understand if someone did not want to participate. Well, one thing you can say about this season, though, is they seem to be very open. Yeah. Some of them, they say, listen, we're ignorant, but that doesn't mean that we hate on anybody. Oh, we just it. don't know. Yeah. So I think that's cool. Mm -hmm. And I like the three guys. They dress up in those bear costumes. But again, it's like left out leaving. Brian. I know. Well, okay. But, you know, one person <laughs> I know. that I do like for Brian is Ari. I really like her and his kind of... From what I've seen so far mm -hmm. since Brian's been in the house, you catch him and her in the kitchen together. You catch everyone with Ari for a second because she's a doll. But Brian seems to be kind of puppy dog for Ari. Like, he really, like, understands, like, Ari accepts him and, like, will have the conversation with him and sit with him and talk. And I don't and know. no one I just, else really wants to do that with it's, him. See, he really respect. I, I don't know. I can just sense, well, like, a respect right If you there. remember a couple of episodes back, Brian was the one when Ari had all of her friends over that was like, mm. this is what you were born to be like, you know? So I think it goes both ways. It's a mutual respect and understanding mm -hmm. of each other and each other's lifestyles, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
And uh, speaking of Ari, she wants to be a film director. I know, and I actually so. went and checked out this film she posted on Instagram, I think it was a few weeks ago. Really effing good. I mean, like, really? yeah, I watched it. She made this short film called The Anniversary that we see her plug tonight in the show, and you only see a second, but if you go watch it, it only takes a couple minutes, and eerie as shit, <laughs> but really good. I Honestly, afterwards, I was like, props, girl, because I, you guys know I went to school for film also, and I just think that it was really well done and really creative and spooky and sexy. So oh. she's gonna, I mean, she it's wants a career out of this, and I mean, it looked fucking sco spooky. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, and, and using your resources, me, so. Using, so, yeah, and get scared so easily. She's in the perfect business. She has the perfect platform right now. She's gonna work on her next film called Open Call, and she uses Corey and Jenny to storyboard to help with the storyboard. And Jenny starts, you know, biting at Corey's belt, and they're like, again, <laughs> honestly, I don't even care that I keep saying it, poor Brian, like, he's sitting there watching this. I just kind of felt bad, like, I knew that this was Jenny kind of rubbing the face, even though Jenny and Corey legitimately do have an attraction to each other. It's not just to spite Brian. But that makes it worse. I know. Yeah. And it makes it even, it makes it really wrong, because what? now we're living with each other. Yeah, okay, I made up with some, made up with some groupie at a club, but you're making a bond with the dude that you fucked and now we're living with it. What do you think about the fact that mm -hmm. Ariel asked Jenny and Corey to do it? I mean, knowing what it was. But she kept saying, like, you don't have to take it to that level, and they were. So I, I don't really know. I think it was, I don't know if it was maybe producers that were kind of hinting for her to do that. I think I think that's kind of weird that she asked that. Uh, seems out of character from what I see of her. Yeah, she doesn't seem like seems she's like ever she trying to cause drama. She wouldn't try to be messy like right. that. But, um, yeah. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Or maybe Jenny offered to do it, and, you know, when Corey said he was going to do it. you know, Right. Like, mm -hmm. Who knows? So Jenny's dancing, and the roommates go to visit, and we find out Brian wants wait, to really wait, Jenny's get... dancing where? The roommates go to... Oh, she's the go-go dancer. The go-go dancer. Yeah. Roommates want to go visit. Brian wants to be the protector. She's paying no attention to Brian. And then well, Brian's obviously not. She's dancing. And Brian's trying but to, But even like, at the end yeah. when she went to the... Oh. And then Brian was trying to talk to Jamie, and Jamie was just like, yeah, whatever, okay. Like, I thought that it was cool, though, that all the roommates went and, stu uh, and stood up for Jenny, and they were like, do your thing, girl, because... Usually we would see somebody kind of slut shaming, and nobody did that, which mm. was cool. And all the girls were like, "Rock out." Well, I mean, That's true. and Jenny doesn't really get off, give off that like slut vibe. It's just more of like a fun, funky like. Even the way she was dancing, it wasn't oh, very Roxy, like your face. <laughs> well, it wasn't really like skanky. It was really just like, okay, girl, keep on yeah, doing it, what you're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's I was like, not like, okay, yeah. this girl is grinding up on the I'm floor. I'm not mad at her like, dancing because I was not mad at her like how she was dancing. She like, seems like right. she might have ADHD, so like this is her way of like getting up. Well, out they of say there's system. no fluidity to it, which is funny. She's like pop, 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 and um, I'm I'm not saying that her dancing was particularly like sex. I thought it was cool, and I'm I'm agreeing with you, but. I think that she does just as a Jenny, human being yeah. give off that fuck me vibe. Like, like a, yeah, well, like she a had bomb. like I said that Scarlett Johansson like sexual vibe, but she doesn't give off skank to me. I don't know when you get breast implants know. that are like that big and that to your chin. I'm not saying she doesn't look good, but like in that bleach blonde hair well, yeah, and that curvy her, like, body and, and the little gives, little dress. It's like, a, it's like a sophisticated sexual thing. I feel. I don't think it's like really like skanky. Like skanky to me is like. Somebody like Ashley, not uh, not um. What's yeah, yeah, I know. Not what you the mean. girlfriend, like, left. No, I'm not even calling. Left. I'm not calling her skanky. She's more skanky to me. I'm not like, calling uh, Jenny skanky mm -hmm. um, yeah. at all. I'm just calling her like sex. Yeah, this you is know, a, like you look at her and you're like, like Ooh, a sex, sex symbol. Like I could probably tap that. Yeah. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, that's good. I mean, Corey so. looked at it like that. Well, and he did. She did well, we, yeah, we and saw And two days that into the house. I'm not judging that. I'm just saying that that's what it is. Like, <laughs> well, go ahead, do you. Fuck whoever you, you want. I have no problem with that. I have no problem with you go-go dancing. I have no problem with you fucking Corey. I have no problem with you fucking Brian. I don't care. You you well, look I'm like playing. sex, which is, I'm sure, very sexy. Yeah, it's like, I mean, yeah. a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> so Better than not looking they like go sex, back like, home. <laughs> Brian's kind of... <sighs> Brian, it's like I, I love you and I want to root for you, but sometimes the things you do are kind of awkward. Like he's talking to Jenny, but he's talking really loud. I go, who so is he the, talking to? And then he keeps to? looking over at the roommates. Yeah. 
And I get what he's doing because he feels like he's trying to explain his side to Jenny. And I guarantee you, throughout the day, he's talking to all the other roommates, and they're all like, yeah, like Ari said, I totally feel you, man. Like, I get that, I get that. So in his situation, he's arguing with Jenny. So I don't know, this could be it, but I feel like he's saying it to the other roommates so that they'll come in and, like, kind of be the Point mediator out things, yeah. between the two of them. I, I yeah. think that's something we forget. I, I can't think of any other but reason right. why he was really doing it. Times. They don't care. Something we forget when watching the show because it happens so frequently is, I mean, have you ever had a roommate? Yes. Have you had a roommate? Yes. I've had a roommate. When you live in a communal space, you have to be aware that what you do and say not in your bedroom, but in the communal space, in the kitchen, in the living room, it affects everyone. And so when you are having these big screaming fights in the kitchen, we, people can't really escape that, you know? You can't ever ask somebody to leave that room and go hide in their bedroom. So if you want to talk to Jenny and you legitimately want to have a conversation, you need to take her into a private space because that would be you two conversing. Yeah. And because he didn't do it, it makes me feel like I mean, he's, he's making more drama than is necessary, mm. screaming at her while she's sitting there, and you're yeah. in public, basically. Okay, but the thing is, is no one does that. Nobody, except Haley, who was like, can you come back to me? That's what I'm saying, but that's on the show, Jesse, which is so weird, because if I went on the show, I would, have, I would be wasted drunk in front of people in the communal space. I would make an ass of myself. But if I really wanted to have a conversation with somebody, we would be in a bedroom. Okay. I don't care if the cameras follow me. That's fine. But I'm not doing it in front of everybody. But I'm saying everyone in the house that we're watching right now has their arguments in the communal space. So when right. Tom came out and was like, shut the fuck up! Like, bro, you I were just physically fighting your female, right. your ex, yeah. last week, calling her a dumb bitch, squ swearing and degrading her. Right, yeah, I completely like, agree with that. Like, for, that's three, for two to three weeks we've been watching the, you do right. this. Right. So why are you coming out and calling anyone else stupid when every word out of your mouth is fucking bro? And then Tom said that really <laughs> mean thing about, well, about his, his parents. parents. That's a low blow. Well, it know. just shows that he's low spoiled. Blow, it shows that he, uh, you know, it, it shows Tom's character to sit there and say, what did he say? I mean, and then for Corey Don't to... Don't be mad at me because my parents did better than yours in life. And for Corey to sit there and then argue with Brian, bro, bro, didn't you get upset when Ashley made a comment about your family right. and your parents right. and being better right. status-wise? Remember? Oh, yeah, also... I thought it was crazy that Brian's the one who goes and apologizes to Tom, and Tom never takes it back. Like I don't think that's crazy. I think that that's Brian. I think Brian. Honestly, no, I think not, Brian is a uh, is a very he's a good guy. he wears his heart on his sleeve, mm -hmm. and that's why he gets so emotional he's about just things. And, yeah, and oh, <laughs> oh Brian. <laughs> I know, I don't know why. I, I bet that not everybody out there melts for Brian, but we're kind of melting for him a little bit. Yeah. I just, I, I hate watching people get bullied, and I, I just feel like he does get bullied. I just get the story now. And I just really just get that he just wants to, like, have fun. He's just like, hey, guys, I'm here. Like, and everybody's just like, oh. Well, I'm, we're going to talk about Napa Valley because... Oi. Well, and Bye. then can we also talk about Jay trying to give uh, adv relationship advice? Mm, can we not talk about Jay? <laughs> right. Well, we aren't because he didn't really do too much this episode. So okay. they go to Napa Valley. Uh, Je uh, Jenny wants sophisticated fun. Brian is upset with Jenny. And this is what I mean. This is where I get what he's saying. I've been with you for how many years? And we're in a situation now, and you can't be cool with me, but you've met this kid, known this kid for 12 weeks, fucked him on the second day. We've been on and off within the in this show. And now you can try and have a relationship. You're like attempting to have some sort of friendship with him. But not with me. I, I mean, it, I get it. I get it's fucked up. I get like, I don't know. I mean, it's an awkward situation. I can't really say what I, what I would do because that's a really tough situation to be put mm -hmm. in. But knowing that they're still together now, it's kind of like, I don't know. It's to me like that's just worse because you're... We talked about what is cheating the other day on Real Housewives of Atlanta, right? Okay. So, for cheating, uh, on the show, the guy said, well, cheating is, I mean, if you have a one-night stand with somebody, that's not cheating. Cheating is when you are emotionally, I totally disagree with that, but he feels cheating Isn't is when crazy? you are emotionally attached with someone. Now, I think that's an affair. I don't even think being emotionally <laughs> attached with somebody is cheating. If you don't cheating hook up with them. Cheating is if you're sticking your... Cheating is a sexual act yeah. between two people that... Mm -hmm. 
don't think it's just sexual. It's I think that is too. Yeah. I mean, I, no, I think that is cheating. I think it's fucked up to have an emotional attachment with somebody, and I think that you shouldn't be in a relationship. But I don't think that is the word cheating. I think cheating implies some sort of sexual connotation. So you don't think if your boyfriend was like hitting up some chick, like, oh hey. I think it's fucked up, and I think we should break up, and I think it's a whole different kind of level of fucked up, but I don't think that is cheating. You are mentally cheating on me, and yeah. you will mentally fine, not fine. be like, a part of my calling, situation. You need to be calling me babe only. You Boo. need to be calling fine. me mama's I, only. Boo. You need to be calling okay. me everything if you, only. Okay? If you, call, if you if need you call anything, it, you're texting me about it. If, if you, you want to call it, a ride somewhere, you're texting me about you're it. You're not biting a belt with your teeth. I understand. You ain't talking to no other bitches, okay? Okay, I sure. understand. But if you if sure. you want to call it mental cheating, then yes, it is mental but cheating. But it's still cheating. I think that you would have to say it's mental cheating. cheating or else I would believe you're talking about something sexual. If you said, my boyfriend cheated on me, I would assume that you were talking about something sexual. Well, you know what they if say. You, eating, eating ain't cheating. I don't get that. I don't. If you was, you know, to get eaten out, it ain't cheating. What? what? Eating ain't cheating. Yes! You don't get so something. So <laughs> Like, if a guy was eating me out, that's not cheating. Because the dick never went in. Oh. No, that's no, still I, cheating. No, I mean, I completely agree. I totally agree, agree with that. I think I making out with like, somebody is cheating. Still, like, have any... But how can making out with somebody but, like, flirtatious... You you have a that, connection with somebody you flirting, and you're being you flirtatious cheating. with them? No, if you are flirting, you are not cheating. But if you are making out with somebody, you are certainly Jenny. Cheating. Jenny teasing <laughs> Brian with yeah, Corey. Right now. Jenny teasing Brian with Corey. Let's just use this. You think right now Jenny's cheating on Brian? I don't. I wouldn't call it cheating. Okay. I think it's getting to a point. If Jenny's not even dating Brian. Okay, listen. Oh, we gonna go if with this that. This just one. depends. If you're married, okay, okay, because this is there's like different levels. Yeah, marriage shit, is a whole okay? different thing. Okay, like let's now, not talk about marriage. Let, we're talking about relationships nowadays. Right. Okay, come on now. There's fucking Instagram. There's fucking like everything in the freaking world where people can just cheat on whoever they want. You know what I'm saying? We're young, obviously, but. If you go looking and you, you can, find something, you can like a photo, but let me not find a comment. Right, go like. That's fine. Let me like, not like, find like, a comment. Like, <laughs> you are fucking crazy. You both are fucking crazy. I sure the that's fuck why. Am. I sure the and fuck. That's am. why I'm single. And that's why. And that's why I'm single too. Because I'm like, all right, talk to whoever. Like, all right. Well, so and that's go- why I keep a man. Because I keep him in check. Girl. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Napa Valley trip. Sophisticated fun. <laughs> Brian brings up Jenny go go dancing oh, again. Bro, this just wasn't the place for you to do it. I know. He was mad and I get it and he wanted to just throw dirt on her little fucking J Lo hat, like Ooh. It was very like low there. Like it was kinda out of the blue, like, okay, all of a sudden she wants to do wine tasting, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay. Sophisticated. Hey. You what know? do you guys think about the concept that wine does make something more sophisticated? I totally disagree with that. Mm-hmm. Okay, what do you think? Because I honestly here's one thing I would give Tom. I think he was being disrespectful yeah. at a certain point because I know myself, I can't my my I have a mouth. Well, and, and I know you. Right. And I know you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the three of us go into like, wine this is fucking awesome. Yeah. 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 Okay. But there's a difference and this is fucking awesome and what's this bitch and fly doing here? It's just, well, like, there's and a it's difference. like it's a small space and yeah. it's probably really quiet. Yeah. There's not loud music playing like obviously everybody in the whole place but could hear exactly my thing what you're is, saying and that's Jenny, just embarrassing. If you are that type of a person elsewhere then you can't comment no, on it, it anywhere Jesse, else. it wasn't even that. It's the fact that anytime anybody comments on what she says, she's like, you're, you're bringing me down. You're bringing me from my 10 to my 6. I'm not affecting you. This is who I am. Like, if I want to dance, I can dance. Nobody can tell me what to do. And then it literally the first time the situation is flipped, and she's like, you can't do that. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. That's crazy. I think that that's crazy. Like, I'm saying, she's that. she is just like Tom in the way, like, you don't pay attention to where you are sometimes. Like, That's Brian crazy. pays attention. He knows what he's going to say and what he's not going to say at times. You know what I mean? Like, it may not sound very educated. But, Jenny, we've seen you act kind of crazy. Tom is acting crazy. Now, I get it. I would feel awkward as fuck. I'd Me be too. swearing, too, though. I would feel really awkward when people get loud. I'd be getting, uh, feeling awkward telling this bitch to shut up sometimes when we out to eat. Yeah. When do I ever am loud when we go out um, to eat? The other motherfucking day. When? Uh, Buffalo wings. When? Bye, bitch. Anyways. Oh, no, honey. I was not loud, and you did not tell me to shut up. I was clocking to you, okay? Anyways. <laughs> Don't try me. Jay wants to apply to be a massage man. But she knew. But he don't know. Okay. Okay. Jay wants to apply to be a massage person. 
in front of his girlfriend is saying he wants to massage other women. And that was annoying. I thought it was weird that Jay and Brian got, sorry, Jay and Corey got a couple's massage and not Jay and Jenna. Did yeah. anyone else think that was kind of weird? I mean, I, I, yeah, I mean, I wasn't surprised. He doesn't I mean, really like to do anything with Jenna, so. <laughs> like, it's I a paid-for date. Really take it, honey. I really wasn't, like, surprised. It's a paid-for romantic date. Just take it. Take it. And said you want it to be with Corey. What? Mm, well. Mm, yeah. So well. they go to lunch. Tom keeps swearing even more. And then he that just. That lunch looks so good. It really did. Oh. And then they pass. he passes out on the bus. Um, they get back to the house, and Tom tells Jamie, don't get fat or I won't be with you. I believe him. Wow. I believe him. I totally believe him. <laughs> right, but still, like, damn. Now, who said that they've dated fat guys before? Did Jamie say no, that? No, that, that was Jenny. Jenny. Jenny said, I don't like to date guys that are too hot because they're full of themselves, their personality isn't good. I've dated a few fat guys. I've, I've fucked a few fat guys. <laughs> Do your thing. <laughs> Do your thing. Go ahead, girl. All right. So, I don't think you need to be yelling all. that out loud. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's right. You know, I fucked a couple fat ones. You know what I'm saying? Like, I did that. You know, all the milk be doing that. Like, girl, I you just, need to get some low fat milk. All right. right. All, I keep, some skin. all right. I keep saying there is do your thing. Because, like, all right, she just, you want to fuck a fat guy? I'm not going to sit here and say you shouldn't fuck a fat guy. I, I feel like that. <laughs> Do you know what? Think? That's fine. But how can you say that when you literally just fuck Brian and Corey who you have are, like chiseled? Right. What are you talking about? They're both so fat. There's mm -hmm. so much body fat on them. Fat maybe what? Like their penises? Like literally like, I mean, four percent body fat. fat I'm gonna say yeah, nothing. So but I would like to see a sex tape released of Jenny and like you I know, ma maybe some four hundred pound man. <laughs> I do not want to I'm not trying to Whose see tits any are bigger? That. Let's make a meme. No. Whose tits are bigger? <laughs> <laughs> so she's dated oh, fat guys. Shit. Jenny says, "How often do you find someone who's sexy and smart?" Now this that is such was a diss. Such, so oh fucked my god, up. that's so fucked she up. She wasn't implying Corey at first, and then Corey says, "How about me?" No, and what she was implying, implying is that Brian, Brian isn't, isn't sexy yeah. and isn't smart. No, she was yeah. saying he isn't smart and isn't sexy. I think she was, I don't, whatever well, he it was. Could I mean, choose she was which just of trying to say that, but we all know that, girl. <laughs> I know, which, which <laughs> girl, you can keep on saying what you're saying, but we all know he's fine, okay? Like, let's just all be real here. Okay? And then Corey comes over and said, well, you know, what about me? And Jenny was like, well, you're the exception. Well, you're the 1%, and he's like, thank you, glad we agree, because she would have looked like a real ass if she hadn't said that. I, I just think that this, threesome this triangle wait a minute why would she have looked like an ass if she like didn't she would she would have made an ass of herself to Corey. Corey would have bitched at her i think she shouldn't have said that because i think it was really fucked up to brian but Corey would have so been like up. are you serious so fucked up. <laughs> yeah it's just a really so bad love triangle fucked up that's not even a love triangle there's no love That's between Jenny triangle. and yeah it's a fuck triangle. i think brian and Corey need to get in a bed and For bang sure. it out <laughs> okay I mean, I would love to watch that. Hell yeah. But anyways. <laughs> Mud wrestle. Hey. So I know, they start fighting on the bus. I'm like, okay. Hey. Brian gets pissed. Then they go. It's a club night. And there's a groupie. And she comes after Corey. And Corey was like, nah, 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 bitch. And Brian's just sitting there. Just I'm like, first of all, hold on. It's just one girl. Like, it's not that serious. Like, he's really like, and she's looking over and she wants camera time. Like. Yeah, but just she, one girl. She did, though. Groupie? She, Where are the groupies? Wait, How are you going to call one girl a groupie? She did keep saying, though, it was really weird. She was like, wait, do you have to be on camera when you talk to me? And they'd be like, yeah. And she'd be like, good. I'm like, what? You are, you're a group. It was just bee. fucking weird. You are a groupie I mean, without a group. She was just fucking weird. makes you a weird. onesie. She's such a onesie. She was, yeah, she was like a onesie. <laughs> well, so then she starts talking to Brian, and uh, Corey says that he's corny. And he sees well, she picked the right one. What Brian's about. <laughs> I mean, you could damn swing a Kit Kat in Brian's face and have a conversation with him for a half hour. Like, yeah. the kid just likes to talk. Also, in all fairness, Corey and Brian, if she thought that Corey was hot, she'd think she, that Brian was hot because they're a similar type. Right. So. But I do think it's 
it didn't give Brian the best look when she had clearly tried to call over Corey first. But did he see? He didn't see that. Did he didn't he? see it. I don't know, but it's still we saw. Yeah, it. And I mean, like, we've seen this happen yeah. before. I mean, Jenny did it to what's her name. Yeah, well, see, they're a lot alike in some ways. <laughs> to Haley, okay. yeah. Damn. Um, all right, so they get inside the car, and it's a war between Corey and Brian. Yeah, but they, Jenny was not there. No. Nope. Thank God. She was working out late night shift. Um, Corey tells Brian you, that she girl. was a groupie, said, I had, you know, you had fun with your groupie? Well, you know what? I had fun with your groupie, too. A.K.A. Jenny. Jenny. As if he didn't actually know what he was talking about, just Damn. to specify, A.K.A. Jenny. Damn. Oh, sorry. I'm too late. <laughs> I'm just saying, Jenny was not there to defend herself, and that was fucked up for Corey to say that. But she wants to be, that's who you want to be friends with, girl? I don't think it was fucked up of Corey to say that to Jenny. I think it was fucked up to Brian. What? If Jenny was sitting there and heard Corey call <laughs> her, her a groupie? And then she he yeah, smashed her so quickly because she was a groupie. I guess I guess I wasn't thinking of it like that, but I was more thinking of it like, why would you say that to Brian? No, he yeah, it's he didn't up just to do Brian. anything to you, like he, right? I mean, as, as if he fucked your girlfriend, but she didn't. Right. You didn't want her. You didn't want her, and he made out there. If anything, it makes him look like an ass, not you. So why are you pissed? But now you look like an ass but because yeah, your pride got involved over a groupie. A groupie, right? A groupie. Brian a didn't Wednesday. bring her home. He didn't fuck her. He kissed right, her. He and made out with her and talked to her. And he probably was, like, so excited about it at the end of the night. And this thing is, like, now we keep getting <laughs> this... Probably not. He's no, he probably was, like, I kissed somebody, and I'm I'm doing something. He and just wanted Jenny to notice, and she probably didn't, and he was probably pissed at it. I know. But my thing is, Corey keeps using this stupid thing and keeps trying to come after Brian's intelligence, and it's just, like... Okay, we get it, but what's the real reason? Why are you really mad? That's what I want. Corey? Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, Jenny is going to pick Brian over him. Maybe that has something to do with it. You think I Corey think, really cares? No, I, I just think I th personally, Corey just is just annoyed by him. And I personally just think they just don't even want him there. So they're, like, just saying whatever they want. And I think he's just getting under... He just doesn't want him there. It's like Point his blank. look alike. It's the person... I just. Do you think it's because of a little bit of, of pride? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And also, like, it, happened, it comes up tonight. Corey's 22, <laughs> Brian's 27, so there is an age factor there, like, and Dang, he's got to prove himself. age factor. Are you, I can't tell what they're getting or not. Actually, no, no it's I'm not. I'm kind of being serious. It's literally you and I, my yeah, I don't, age factor. I don't think it's, a, I don't think oh, it's that. it is our age factor. I don't think it's that big of an age factor. Well, I'm just saying we're it's... we're talking a, about? That's, like, seven years. Yeah, no, but I mean, it's five. But it's basic shit. You know what I'm seven, saying? Six years. Number five, twenty-two to twenty-seven is five. That is come. All right, but I mean, it's basic <laughs> shit that we're fighting here over. But I mean, I'm just saying, when it comes to what Corey keeps getting irritated over, it's like, okay, you don't like someone, then why are you coming up with these deep-rooted things to kind of attack? Actually, it's so weird because we well, see them Tom at like lunch the other week. You said what? We see them at lunch the other week, and they're like, we love you, bro. Like, just the two of them, they're like, it's so cool that we can be friends. Right. Like, that's when you know it's just fake, and then yeah. it just got to the point where they're just irritated with them. Why are you still here? No one likes you. You and Jenny aren't even together. We I'm, don't care. Bye. I'm going to have to see them in a room together. We should get them both in on the show at the same time so that we can see. Coin Brian. Yeah, just so we can see, like, uh, Maybe for what's the last up. episode. Ooh. Don't play. We might have to work that out. Sunday, don't play. <laughs> All right. Well, that's pretty much. Well, and yeah. so they're going to get into a fight and everyone bets on Corey. Mm. Yeah, I, I thought that was kind of weird. Not that I wouldn't bet on Corey, but just that everybody was like, yeah, Corey with the muscles, like Brian with the muscles. Yeah, but Brian seems more of like a sensitive, like slower, like fighter. Corey is just like, Whoa. you know, he's born or what is it? Young and ready. So he's like young and ready, ready to just. Isn't that their fight. hashtag that they use? Or whatever? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Young and ready. Young and ready. Young and ready, young and ready, black and yellow. And so that just makes them like want to just, you know, Brian's more like, yo, son, 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 let's not do this. And he's like, young and ready. All right, I say that. Well, I don't know. I'm excited to see who's going to win, who's going to lose, all okay. that. Let's go into predictions. Your After Buzz TV predictions. We have three days left in the house, only one more episode left, and it's Corey versus Brian. And then we'll get a reunion, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Brian's shit show and all that. 
I'm yeah. just surprised. The season seemed to fly by. I think they did a really good job in yeah. general. I, it was good. Yeah. It's funny because right as we started getting kind of bored of all the topics, it's like, okay, now we're coming to the end. Yeah. The, the drama's kind of shifted gears yeah. a little bit. It's kind of refreshed it. Ready for one more episode and then the reunion. Tuck totally. it away. Bring me the challenge. Yeah. Perfect. Bring me the challenge. Moving to Thursdays. Let's Hello, do it. God. I know. Thursdays. April 10th. <laughs> That's what's up. All right. Well, on that note, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. Make sure you guys hit us up at AfterBuzz TV on Twitter and Instagram. You guys can tweet me at DJ Jesse J. Me at Sensei Don't Play. At Roxy Stryer. Also, make sure you guys check out this Friday Sensei Don't Play. How I do it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. iTunes is coming to y'all soon. Yeah, it's just like that. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. <laughs> The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principal. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.